It's been over a month since I made the switch from my iMac M1, which I've been using for the past one year, to a MacBook Air M2. And here are the reasons why I made the switch and my thoughts on it. Firstly, the most immediate factor that I had to adapt to was the display itself. I really missed the 4.5K Retina display that the iMac M1 had. But in comparison to the MacBook Air, a 13.4 inches screen with 2K display, you cannot really tell the difference unless you're really looking for the pixels. But I would say this, adjusting my workflow to a much more crammed smaller screen was kind of difficult, but it's beginning to grow on me, right? Though both of these machines are just one year apart, the M1 and M2, and most of their core GPU and neural engine specifications are almost about the same. I did notice a little bit of a speed bump with the MacBook Air M2, especially when it came to my video rendering and exports. I did see a little bit of a bump, but overall, they pretty much felt the same. And if you're wondering, there are any heating issues with the MacBook Air? No, I never had any of them so far. And in terms of design, the M1 iMac honestly did not really take that much space. It is such a sleek and thin design that is truly mesmerizing. Even if I look at it now, I really miss how beautiful it looked at on my table. But the portability factor of the MacBook Air was one of the major reasons why I made it because the iMac was not a traveling friendly machine. I had been on a couple of vacations over in the last year where I had to completely stop my video, especially not having anything to work on. And working on the phone is not my cup of tea. And then finally, there's also the audio. Both of them have a 3.5 mm jack if that really means something to you but on the speaker end the m1 iMac had one of the best speakers that I've ever worked on. It was truly amazing to just watch movies or even listen to music with the six speakers and the woofers in comparison to the iMac, which is kind of decent sounding for a laptop, but it is not the greatest one out there. All right, so to wrap this all up, the portability factor that I have right now with my MacBook Air yeah, actually leveled up my efficiency in terms of my media creation, the entire process and the workflow because I can carry it anywhere I want to right now. And this is one of the major reasons why I chose to switch to a MacBook if you were wondering why I had to do this in the first place. Sometimes this comparison even doesn't make any sense at all. But if you're someone wondering if you really have to make the switch from an iMac to the MacBook, especially from the M1 to the M2, if you're doing a decent job with just word processing presentations and all that, and a little bit of video editing, it should not hurt making this move but if you are someone who's doing really hardcore graphics and stuff this is not the machine it's definitely going to heat up i haven't tried anything as extensive as i mentioned what you could do with it but honestly for someone just switching from m1 imac the uh, macbook air m2 is not at all a bad decision to make unless you're looking for some hardcore work to do on it anyways that's it for this video if you like my content leave it a thumbs up and see you in the next one